Hey y'all, today I'm going to cook for you a, uh, I guess you'd call it a lunch second time around. We had um, chicken, fried chicken and sides at a place called Mountain Chicken um, Sunday and their chicken is so delicious and so are their sides. But we had a, a little bit of leftovers and there was a point in my life when I was really, really poor, so I, um, I always find ways to use everything if possible, so I'm going to um, take the leftover chicken and show you how I'm going to use it, and uh, the first thing I did was um, I made a pot of rice, I used long grain pot rice, that's usually the only kind of rice that I cook with. And I got this bag at the Dollar Tree. And it's 32 ounces. And it's good rice. Then I put two cans of cut green beans. These came from Aldi's. And they're good. And um, I put those in a pot. Which I've shown you how I, I do my green beans. And that is hot. But I put it, put them in there with some Splenda and um, uh, some baking grease. So there that is. I'm going to turn this around a little bit. Okay, there that is. But what I'm going to do with that is with our meal... We got potato wedges, and as you can see here, there's quite a bit of them left. So, what I'm going to do is cut these up in bite-sized pieces, and I'm just going to put them down in... To my potatoes. I'm not going to mix it in there, but I'm going to just put them like on top. Just spread them out. And then I'm going to put them on the burner and I'm going to put this lid on them right there. And let them cook, and the potatoes will get good and hot. And some of the sweetness from the broth will get in them, and they'll be really good. So now I'm going to take the chicken breast, and see it's a nice big chicken breast. And if you have a mountain chicken near you, and you haven't tried it, you should, because their chicken is so good, and their motto, or their logo or whatever you call it is that their chicken's not greasy and of course it's going to have a small amount of grease but it's not greasy and I think it's a hundred percent better than Colonel Sanders and I love Colonel Sanders but it's just really good chicken so I'm taking skin and all you don't have to use the skin if you don't want to. You do whatever works for you and your family. But I think it adds just so much more flavor. And I've got basically all the chicken off of there that I'm going to be able to get. I'm going to lay it aside. And now... I'm just going to cut this in little, small, bite-sized pieces. <coughs> and you can hear my dog barking.
I know the skin on the chicken is not the healthiest, but it sure is good. So I have all this now in bite-sized pieces, and I'm going to set it to the side. And I'm going to pull my cast iron pan down. I'm trying to get that where you can see pretty good. I'm going to cut it on high. Rinse my hands. And I'm going to get a scoop about this much. If you can see, that's a big tablespoon of this is bacon grease. And um, I'm using bacon grease just because I think it will be just really add a lot of flavor to this. You could use just oil if you wanted to. And we need to melt this. And if you don't know, I'm uh, making gravy. So, if you want to make gravy like for breakfast or for something else, this is how you do it. You are supposed to use equal parts grease or oil and equal parts flour. So, I'm going to Put that much in. That looks equal to me. And stir it up. And what you want to do is burn your flour. You don't want to get it black, but you want to kind of get it brown uh, to kind of take off that flour taste. So I leave my temperature on high during this part just to to get that brown. And if you can, I don't know how well you can see or not, but um, you can kind of see when you go like that where the the flour is kind of burning. You can see a little bit of brown. So we want to get that good and brown. And it's starting to really brown up now. Now I'm going to turn it down to about In between medium and low, that's doing a good job browning it up there. And now I'm going to slowly start adding milk. And this is where you make the decision how thick you want your gravy. My husband likes real thick gravy and I like kind of a medium gravy. But usually I make thick gravy because that's what makes him happy. So this will, because your milk will be cold, this will um, have to come back up to temperature, but it doesn't take too long. Still pretty thick. And if you make 
gravy and then you know it's going to sit just a little while before it can be eaten it will start thickening up on you so you might want to make it just a little thinner I got to go and come back okay I'm back and I'm just working on the gravy still YouTube won't let you make but videos just so long and then they'll cut them off and that has happened to me more than one time and I don't edit I do one take and that is it so I'm gonna make this just a smidgen more thin and that should be good And I'm going to turn the oven, or not the oven, but the stove back up just a little bit to get this heated up. I want to get it good and hot. And I almost forgot. As you know, it's my salt and pepper containers. Add some salt and some pepper. Stir it up, it's bubbling. This uh, pepper I use is from Dollar Tree and it's ground really fine. So it's a little bit harder to, to um, get stirred up. Now we're going to come back and take our chicken that we took off the bone and that we cut up and we're going to put it in our gravy. going to stir it up and get it good and hot. I'm going to cut my burner off because I believe there's enough heat without keeping it on. And so, because the pieces were so small and because the gravy was real hot, it won't take much to get that all warmed up. I'm going to cut my beans off. I'm going to grab a plate. And I'm going to serve up some. That was a, a really quick meal. And you basically already paid for the meal once. So you have a whole new meal without uh, having to spend much money so let's see I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to show you I'm going to get some rice here I should, probably should have gotten a bigger spoon But there's my rice, which is white like the plate, so you probably can't see it. Here is the potatoes and beans. And I'm putting some of those on the plate. And then I'm going to put the chicken in the gravy. So there you have it. 
a very quick meal didn't cost much to make and it tastes really good so there it is and I hope you uh, get a chance to make it if you have leftovers um, I'm just a real stickler about not wasting so anyway thank y'all so much for watching and sticking with me and I really appreciate y'all have a great day and I'll see you soon bye bye